Okay, so you might wonder if you make it past the first onslaught, the second and the third one, what happens when this tape gets to the end? So let's find out. Okay, so now I managed to provoke the first onslaught. And it's actually quite difficult to get into trouble once you're more experienced with the game and you have really experienced squad of marines. It actually gets almost too easy. So we got an onslaught coming from here, probably going to come out of this plant. Shit. Okay, I managed to provoke the second onslaught. Again, we'll come out. That's the choke point where you have to go through. But the only thing I'm really low on is ammo. Oh, I got enough sentry guns and the APCs to back up. Okay, onslaught is over. This one's gonna be empty. I still got, I think, one sentry gun in reserve. Okay, the game gets so easy, now I actually have to go out into the map to keep provoking the ends to come at me. And if it's just one or two coming, I can kill them too quickly before the 100 meter even shuts down. And this, I think, the last mission in the game. We still have a choice to select a mission. It's three days before what do you call it? Three days before the um, Doom Clock is over. I mean, there's technically a mission after that, but you don't get a selection screen after this one. I think the game loses a bit of its in intensity late in the game if you just play marines like that because marines are so powerful the agents can barely barely scratch them at that point. But the only reason late missions are actually difficult, like Pharos Tower, is because they have highly scripted events with a lot of onslaughts and you have to use a lot of sentry guns to balance it out. But the marine to alien interaction, like early in the game, it's completely in favor of the marines late in the game. And I think that's why the, it feels so flawed that the level design is so reliant on sentries, on sentries and onslaughts late in the game. Because I think uh, the balancing system was like, okay, marines are this powerful, likely, so you have to throw this amount of aliens at them all the time to actually even start wearing marines down. You wanna pay to rock? Money. Oh, that's a big one. You know, technically I made a mistake here. I assumed it was too easy and a lot might get to get too close to the big games. It should be enough hunted tape to provoke the next onslaught. Kind of weird, isn't it? I actually now have to look for provocation to actually get the next tape. If you're early, uh, new to the game, Sometimes you hope you make it out to safety before the tape hits uh, hits a new onslaught. Well, now I find myself here actually trying to find aliens to shoot at. I have multiple signals. So I think for a DLC or sandbox mode, the game should keep the marines less, give them less health points when they level up. Come on, team. 
then you can get away with using less aliens to actually fight players. Okay, this should be the third onslaught, and they're coming straight out here. And the flames should last 30 seconds, so if I time it correctly, they're gonna need some time to spawn, walk over here. Let's wait a bit, and here we go. I got two flamethrower guys, I'm going to create a thick belt of fire. Now retreat a bit. I think another problem with the game balancing here is that you can use that to farm the game, to level up your marines basically, and until the tape breaks over here. But the only downside is from the stress, they might be out for a week. See, now the onslaughts is over. Now, now the game, as far as I understand, the game will not send any onslaughts anymore when, the to when, when you break the tape, when you get to the sand. However, there, I think there's going to be higher density of aliens just spawning in the map and approaching you. Also, you still have to fight scripted onslaughts and other things that the game has included in the level design to fight you. However, as you can see, I only lost one marine because I was, I was careless next to the big alien over there. Oh, I can stay here practically infinitely and just level my marines to to any level I want, basically, I think. Even if the sentries run out, as long as I'm close to the APC, I can just keep farming just like that. But this can get problematic when you're late in the game. And you have done it many days left. And you, you guys are out for 7 or 10 days because of all the stress still over there. Then you might run into time problems. So otherwise, as you can see, breaking the tape is not that difficult, actually. If you experience with the game, you have high-level marines and you have the APC as backup. 